गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हाई माई नेम इज राजेंद्र भाटिया आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग क्रिएटिव वेज एज वन ऑफ द सबसिडीज ऑफ टॉप रैंकर फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड सिंपल लास्ट माई मिनिट ड्रॉइंग रिविजन विच विल हेल्प यू टू क्रैक जे बी आर friends it has been quite some time that you are preparing for jeb arc and this one examination has got a very typical six point program and we are left out with 32 days still you can divide your time of revision with help of this six point program and that shall be good enough Firstly, let us look into what are the plans. Examination plan has got part one as mathematics, hundred marks, thirty question, plus four, minus one for each wrong answer, plus four for right answer. I don't know why they want to mention thirty and with four marks each, but then total marks are hundred. <coughs> anyway, with negative marking, nobody reaches hundred marks. <coughs> Okay, so part two, aptitude test, two hundred marks, fifty question of four marks each, online, minus marking one for a wrong answer. Then part three, drawing, hundred marks, only two question, and this is an offline mode. Rest were the online mode. friends my emphasis every intelligent child can score very good marks out of mathematics and aptitude but only very few intelligent students can score good with 100 marks of drawing will you take it from me what all to prepare in these last two days of your examination firstly how do we actually come to a conclusion this six point program what we have seen from the previous year questions they have been asking either of these six as two questions one sketch out the portrait of one of your grand parents this was the actual question that appeared in some of a previous year drawings so portrait is one domain you can really score from i'll be giving individual examples also then create a scene of a gardener working in a garden from your memory so it's a kind of a memory drawing or maybe fictitious situation drawing mostly it is more memory drawing in case of je bihar third type of question that i have seen in earlier years draw a creative two dimension composition using equilateral triangles so 2d composition is the uh, part that you should be revising one of the optional question two either the portrait making or enlargement that i'll be talking as the sixth one is is the decode the given image and complete the scene and take my words friend if you can do decoding i think you will make the maximum impression on the examiner because very few student really decode an image they all go for the other option given along with decoding either making portrait or taking up an enlargement of the given small picture so decoding is one more part that you could really go through then 3d composition along with xiography so it is simply 3d composition last two three years i am not seeing 3d question but as i am here for telling you what to revise i am mentioning it 
six types are the enlarge the given image in given space let us look into individual working of it most important topic for 2023 scene creation portrait making 2d design now in 2d design i have uh, seen two types of question as we have just now seen the one are the direct question like make a composition of a uh, triangle only uh, with maybe rhythmic line with uh, rectangles with circles etc there could be indirect question and that indirect question of 2d is decoding and depicting then 3d composition along with sciography and enlargement okay so one by one i have taken three of three or four sample of uh, scene creation there is a temple in middle of a river in your village you are stepping down on a stage now remember these are the question which never appeared and i feel that these are important and how to depict them is also there for your ready reference so there is a temple in middle of a river in your village you are stepping down on the stairs to catch a boat you can see few people stepping downwards before you among them is a small girl with two ponytails draw a scene from your eye level friends if somebody wants to understand it do you see the eye level is the bottom of the hillocks or the hills and the river is flowing right up to it because you are high up on the stairs you see so much of water reaching right at the bottom of see what is a horizon where the wherever the sky appear to be meeting the ground but in water level wherever the sky or maybe such elevated bodies like um, like the hills and hillocks their bottom is your horizon remember that and then of course you might have seen some of those uh, construction line taking the the staircase right up to your vanishing point so that is how you should be preparing yourself if you are able to depict a good scene through your memory take my words you will be gaining very good marks and this is going to make all the difference because je is a very high competitive exam and uh, um, je bihar particularly and this a preparation of your drawing will make all the difference in the ultimate or the last um, of your rank i mean uh, that will make a lot of difference in the overall rank <clears throat> scene creation another scene <clears throat> another <clears throat> another scene creation you are entering the drawing room of your house while your father is standing and watching outside the window there is a pot on the central table with flowers in it visualize and create the scene from your memory complete your sketch with sciography now here i emphasize you could do um, a little shading into your two uh, into two point perspective here i have used a method which i only nomenclated as diamond minus another scene creation you are one of the student standing and watching the demonstration by an artist along with other student the artist is sitting and the canvas is on the easel create the scene from your eye level eye level is same as horizon and this is how it would look like so three scene creation but just one sketch for how to practice portrait making with facial expression depict the portrait of yourself 20 years from now maybe you can change it to 40 years from now because you all are as youngsters and this is an adult i have taken into account maybe 20 25 year guy you are not that much 
so from 2025 years to 40 45 years is the depiction what i have done in my class is uh, half of it i have made as an adult guy and rest of the half i made made it as an old man of 45 50 years all the changes you can see uh, taking reference of the young person to the old person now this is a very good study material um, that you can uh, find with the uh, with the uh, sketches that i have done and yes these sketches are available of uh, on demand that you can uh, ask for either you can go in for my recorded classes and uh, or you can uh, buy from creative edge um, the material for your um, mock test or you could uh, buy from us um, the recorded lectures at least these six kind of lectures will help you out in last minute preparation for this sketching the direct question of two dimension design using three circle three triangles and three square create an aesthetically appealing two dimensional composition color your composition with color scheme of your choice now in this uh, particular one i have uh, used analogous colors uh, analogous colors of blue blue green and purple for the objects or for the the uh, shapes and the background is uh, on a contrasting color to or it is complementary color to purple the highest in grade with the analogous colors so this kind of a practice will surely give you an answer for the direct question on two dimension design however recent past jbr has been asking indirect two dimension design question uh, wherein i have taken one of these sample question decoding and depicting uh, one uh, picture that i have uh, taken here is the famous pa painting by leonardo da vinci the painting was done between 1503 and 06 that is in three or four years this painting was completed the painting's novel qualities include the subject's mysterious expression monumentality of composition the subtle or delicate modeling of forms and atmospheric illus illusionism the woman sits markedly upright in an armchair with her arms folded a sign of her reserve posture the soft blending creates an ambiguous ambiguous means more than one interpretation mood mainly in two features the corners of her mouth or the face and the corners of the eyes behind her a vast landscape receives to icy mountain winding paths and distant bridge give only the slightest indication of human presence emotions ambiguous mysterious delicate confident reserved stable and focus reading of emotions for your preparation horizontal lines rest peace calm relax quiet vertical lines strong strength rigid and dependable diagonal lines supportive unbalanced and movement curved lines acceptance flexibility free flowing adjustable and happy going zigzag lines negative danger harmful on one side whereas safety self defense on the other side uneven lines undefined unwanted and confusing thick lines now this is how i am trying to show you as to how you can depict your emotions with help of lines 
So thick lines show hard, rigid, and masculinity, whereas thin lines shows delicate, fragile, and femininity. So line emo can depict emotions. Colors also can depict emotion. Shapes also can depict emotions. Since it is a two-dimension design, you should be more focusing on two shapes and lines only, apart from colors. So square rectangle shows stability, safety, com comfort, balance, honesty, reliability, security, and dullness. Circle and oval shows harmony, protection, unity, commitment, love, femininity, life cycle, movement, wholeness, complete, powerful, softer, noticeable, friendly, and acceptance. Triangle and polygons, dynamic, balance, energetic, direction, stability, and movement, and progression. Friends, now using all this and your knowledge about colors, let us show or let me show how I would have depicted this Mona Lisa. Depiction of emotion of Mona Lisa in 2D shapes with colors. Ambiguous, ambiguous, more than one meaning or interpretation. Now here is simple two dimension design that shows everything that we notice with Mona Lisa. I have used in a rectangle with rounded corner, that means friendly corners, mysterious with vanishing blinds. Do you see that friends, the vanishing blinds? Here. Then delicacy, femininity, what all shows here delicacy and femininity? The rhythmic lines and a symbol of femina, femininity, that is a circle and a plus sign. Then her mental status is shown as confident. Here is the mental status depiction with red color and orange color in the center, green and blue out on the outskirts. Then focus, same thing. Focus is also depicted with the arrow going towards the center. Reserved or introvert. Reserved and introvert is again shown with these four arrows in the rectangle. Whereas stability of that figure is shown with this triangle with a broad base. Friends, you may be a little surprised, but this is how a portrait or a full picture can be depicted in two dimension design after decoding. A 3D composition along with sciography create an interesting three Dimensional composition using a paper cone, steel glass, wooden cuboid, and glass cylinder. Render your sketch with light, shade, and shadow. Remember in this, whenever you are showing a composition, friends, you should be taking up a plan that would be depicted here. And then, of course, the question do not come directly as paper cone and something they will say, you have to depict a cone, a cylinder, a wooden block, and a uh, sorry, a cuboid and a and a uh, water glass. So you had to choose your own material for each uh, form, and that is how I have chosen it and depicted here. So these are also important part of the key sketches that you would be doing, along with real depiction of them like this. Here the shade and shadow matters a lot. Like for example, uh, the shadow of a transparent object, it will be uh, having a light at the bottom, the other surface where the light stops lastly, it enters from the other side. So the shadow will have light at the bottom and uh, dark at the, at the top. So these are certain tricky questions. Uh, you should be doing it with a lo lot of common sense and
presence of mind. Last but not the least, the enlargement. Draw a proportionate sketch of the given reference image by using any black and white rendering technique of your own choice. Remember this diagonal line plus some graph that you can imagine on your digital image that is presented to you. You can draw it on your sheet. These graphs will help you enlarge the given picture to almost perfection. For example, you just can keep your finger on your screen and divide the space according to the graph on your sheet. Although I said all the best, but I'm not going right away because I want to answer some of your question. So let me come back to the last slide and let me look into some of your questions, friend. So Jal Keshavani, I think your question is solved by, by way of my earlier explanation. You asked me how to solve decoding question. So that is solved. Uh, how much time for sketching? I think you have got the division already there in the hall card. Still, you get 40 minutes around for this 100 marks question. Or you divide those um, 400 marks total with help of, uh, I mean, divide it into four parts. One part would be your uh, drawing part. Okay. So 120 minutes into four, sorry, 180 minutes into four. So I think it's about 50 minutes or so. Two hours and one hour. Two hour for maths and aptitude and one hour for drawing. How am I supposed to decode an image using black and white rendering technique that is without colors? Kostov, you know that black and white also expresses a lot of things, but when they ask for black and white method, that means you have to more depend on lines and shapes with which you will be decoding it. Kalyani Ekare asking, can we use a uh, ruler for perspective and 3D composition, sir. Uh, please avoid that because uh, a ruler or any straight line uh, will invite less marks. Your freehand drawing alone uh, score maximum marks. While sketching portraits, should we do black and white rendering? Generally, they ask you to do black and white rendering only. A no colored portrait so far. While portrait, do we have to do complete shading or shadow? I think you should render it with sufficient shade. This uh, enlargement also, I would have really shaded it, but in a hurry, maybe I just left out shading. Srinivas, sir, when will the admit card release? How do I know Srinivas? I think you should get it by tomorrow because it's, it's not in my control. Thank you very much, friends, for being with me. I think most of the questions. Kalyani Kare again asking what material should we take to the exam center? Please wait for my uh, YouTube live on 27, our YouTube uh, uh, presentation on 27, when I talk about the material. Right now, since the, uh, the hall cards are not out, the admit cards are not out so far, so I uh, abstain from giving you any ideas from the last year. Uh, Yashaswani asking, sir, can we use 
motifs in uh, 2D drawings, even if they have not mentioned to use motifs. No, Yashaswani, you should not be using motifs unless they ask for. Because at time the examiner is testing you on primary shapes only. In two dimension design, always remember, do not go for any shading. It is a flat picture that you have to draw. Thank you for being with me, friends. And uh, uh, Srinivas asking when is uh, next live? Next live would be uh, day after tomorrow. But uh, any other question, you can to you can log on to our website. I'm sure you have already subscribed my website, www.toprankers.com. Saeed Rahman can't wait for the next class. Friend, you can firstly uh, take up my uh, recorded videos and straight away uh, take up an inquiry through my website. And uh, yes, you can, uh, and there are numbers given in on my website uh, wherein you can, uh, you can have a direct inquiry about my recorded videos, mock test, and similar classes. Thank you so much for being with me, friends. I think it's right time to say you bye, and all the best is my last word now.